What would you say is the best thing money can buy? Comfortability. Money, money can buy comfortability. And it, money can buy time. Because you could pay somebody to do something which saves you time to do even more. Even though you don't want everybody doing everything for you, because a lot of people with money get weak. Because everybody starts doing something for them. They got security to protect them. They got somebody doing this. They got somebody doing that. So when drastic situations happen, you see people with money get weak. And what you don't want to do is let the money make you weak. Money can't buy respect. You got to go earn your respect. You, I mean, it could buy fake respect. It could buy yes, man. Mm -hmm. But money can't buy real respect. It's like, if I know I can whoop your ass, then I know it. Money can't buy you no hands. What's popping this money, man, and you're watching Montrealty, we are rolling loud and we were capital. When I was 10, um, I learned about money pretty fast. I learned the value of it. I don't know how it was something clicked in my head early. And I was um, trying to be on my entrepreneur type shit. So I was selling candy. I started out selling candy when I was 10. Whatever I had access to, whatever I could make a, a little profit off of that I knew, I was a little bit ahead of my time, thinking wise. Shit, man. One of them, I fought with them Dragon Ball Z folks, man. They on that whooping ass. And um, I can't name specifically one, but I said the Dragon Ball Z folks. Or or you know who I fought with? Wolverine, too, because he had heart. He, he gonna got them keep coming at you dying. He gonna be crawling at you till you kill him. You gotta beat him to death. And he can always heal. Yeah, he just heal up. But his heart mostly though, he, he just, shit, he coming. What kind of jobs did I have when I was a teenager? I started off working in fast food, but it was too little of pay, so I had to be, I started taking out the register, but I was, I was smart with it. Like I never got caught, they'll have corporate come into town. This one I was like 15 and um, I was supposed to be in school, but they put me on day shift. Like I was grown. So I used to skip school and go um, work at Checkers during the daytime, like 9 a.m. And I'd get off when school over at 4 p.m. So I work from 9 to 4. But I make so much money because the whole staff was in there still. My first big check came from weed. Um, I had, I slick hit a lick. So I went and bought a chain and some clothes and shit like that. I wish I had invested though. Cause I, that 50,000 I spent on jewelry and shit like that, I could have probably turned that into a million dollars. Sometimes you gotta get big chunks of money and you gotta blow it so you learn not to do it the next time. So that first one, that first time I blew the money, I was like, you know what? You know what's so crazy though? Know, my lifestyle, before I made it rapping, my lifestyle was like a rapper. Cause you know, I had this going on and that going on that I don't want to get too specific in, but all you had to do was pull up on the camera, pull up with a camera and I would have got popping cause my life was like a movie and I could rap. So I would spend money on, I knew I was going to be a rapper. So I would spend money on the jury, the cars, the chains, the crib, because that's what it took to become a rapper. So I really was investing in myself. You got to invest in yourself. Yeah, they say if you um, if you wake up and say something three times a day, it'll eventually come true because you're programming your mind to do it. So you have to manifest things. Michael Jordan manifested himself being the best basketball player. But the thing is, you got to apply it. But I believe manifesting makes you apply it. So if, if I keep saying I'm going to get a better jumper, I'm eventually going to get a better jumper because I'm going outside practicing it every day. So long as you keep it on your mind, it's gonna happen. Your thoughts, to be honest, <laughs> you know it's so fucking crazy? Strong minds influence society. 
So a lot of those movies that came out in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, it's starting to happen now. The robots they building, all the new technology. So manifest, manifestation is real. What's, the, what's that that just happened? You seen that crash over there in Ohio with the train? Where it polluted the water? Yeah. A year ago, that was in a movie. Mm. You can call that manifestation. I want to I wanna manifest just being an elite human being, health-wise, physical-wise, mental-wise, all that type of shit. Money is cool. Money is easy for me to make, but I want everything else. My superpowers is my analytical skills, man. I can intake so much data on a day. I'm learning. I like to look at history, so I'm learning about all the ancient conquerors. Then I like to look at future stuff like AI. But on a daily basis, I'm flipping through past, present, and future. Every day while I'm working out, while I'm moving around, um, people used to come to me to help me extract their money from different things because they had, oh, I got this over here sitting. How do I get this out of here? So my, my, my superpowers is my analytical skill. I can take in loads of information and comprehend it. Oh, I get better with time. So 86 years old, I'm going to be a monster. I'm going to probably be one of the best 86-year-olds it is because... I'm gonna make sure I eat right. Once I learn to eat right, I do that. I'm gonna make sure I'm physically training and I'm gonna make sure I'm rich as hell. Nutrition is everything. Everything. I was 340 pounds at one point, about 229, 230 now. So I lost 100 pounds over the years. Routine makes you, um, it makes, it, it kind of makes perfection. So if you, if you train it for something you do it every day, you're gonna become elite at it. So my routine every day is wake up, run 10 miles. Then I go shoot for four or five hours. Then I go back to the crib and I record every day. So I try to keep that routine. I turn down shows just to keep my routine going. I don't like having security, like grown men having to secure me. So I'm gonna make sure I'm on point at all times. I work on my senses, all kind of shit like that. Man, I got so much real shit, man. It's nothing I can specifically point out, but um, I got so much real shit in my music. Um, you supposed to listen more than you talk while you think you got two ears. Um, never let a nigga sit in your back seat when you catch plays, because he can shoot you in the back of the head. Um, what else? This is just for my recent album. Um, if we came together and we lead together, that's just law. You never run on your partners. Um, what's something else? Um, um, you can't, you can't fault a nigga for being himself. You knew he was a bitch. So you can't fault nobody for being who they are because you knew who they are before you went somewhere with them. So if they crossed you out, that's your fault. Um, what else? It's all, I got all kind of real shit, man. My shit like the Bible, man. I read the Bible. Financial literacy is nothing really but just knowing about money, credit, and, and you can't spend more than you make. And then you need to invest your money. You, your money should always be working for itself, so you should always be buying good assets. Like, if you buy jewelry, make sure it's good jewelry. Make sure it's plain Jane. I buy bust downs, but you know I buy bust downs because these hood trophies, man. Like, where I come from, this is just what we own. It just is what it is, whether you lose value on it or you gain value, but I also buy things that gain value. Like certain cars you lease, certain cars you own, certain cars you rent. You know what I'm saying? You just got to know how to work your money. Most of the richest people got good spending habits. Most of the brokest people got bad spending habits. So the broke gets broker trying to look like the rich. You gotta stay down until you come up. I'm gonna put y'all on some real game right now, man. This is some real game. So, if I got $1,000 and I got blank credit, right? I'm a young nigga, I got $1,000 in my pocket. I'm gonna take $600, I'm gonna go get two credit cards, unsecured, unsecure, throw them on my credit. My credit score gonna go to a 700 after one or two months. 
after that two months, I'm going to order me another credit card. So them, now, them first two just let me get a third one. That one's probably going to be $2,000. I'm going to let that sit on there for one more month, build my credit up all the way where I can extract fifty to to $100,000 off my credit, and then start me some type of business. I can't tell you what type of business to start. I can't tell you what you like. But that's a real game right there. Use your, leverage your credit to start you a business. Empire of the future because of the way it's, it's structured. Like, first of all, it's better percentages on deals. Then you know the owner is hands on. He rolled his sleeves up. He actually get in the field with you. He actually ride with you, see what's going on. You sign to some of these labels, you don't even know who the CEO is. You never talked to him your whole career. So why would you go do that? Um, and it's independent. You want to be your own man. You're supposed to be standing on your own two feet anyway. Like, now I understand now if you just finessing the rap game, getting you a big check because you got a buzz and you're not a real musician like that, then you know, get your money. I respect the hustle. But if you're a real artist and you actually want to see some money later on, you don't want to get fucked over, you need to be over here at Empire. A lot of people feel like they in love, but if y'all not, see the Bible tell you, you gotta be equally yoked. So if you and that lady not equal, you're not in love. It's just not what it is. You might be, it might be lust or some shit like that. You know, y'all like, y'all like sleeping together or something. But love, y'all are on the same page. That means y'all almost think the same. Y'all like the same things, you know what I'm saying? So any woman I get involved with, we're exactly on the same page. We down there think the same, we eat the same, it's no differences, you know what I'm saying? That's what equally yoked is. Yeah, shrooms, you know what it is? Shrooms, when I take shrooms, I can feel my brain, it sound crazy, I feel my brain repairing itself. And I feel it going through my brain cells. So what it does is it just brings me to certain realizations of what I need to do. Like, oh, okay, you're capable of doing this. You're capable of doing that. I microdose. I don't go too far into the abyss. So I just microdose enough to where it gives me certain realizations. Then if you microdose, all it does is heighten your senses. You get certain energy. And then you get a little lively, you more on point, you can read people's energies, which I can do anyway. I don't need shrooms to do that. I can just sense somebody's intentions. I actually pay attention to my intuition. If somebody got bad intentions, that fight or flight come over me. Like certain people, you know, somebody be about to shoot you in the back of the head and you have no idea. You just boom, catch that head shot. Me, some come over my body, that adrenaline, that fight or flight mode. And I could feel, it's like I got eyes in the back of my head. So everybody don't have that though. Some people, you know, some people are sheep, man. They don't believe in shit. They just exist. Message to the youth, man. Um, do you, and make sure you're aware. Like, just be aware of this planet, man. Like, don't be out here being a sheep, man. Right now, y'all living in the matrix, man. Like, all right, did you see in China where the sheep was just walking in circles for like 20, 30 days. Everybody was like, what's going on? What's going on? It's simple. It's sheep. They following the leader. And that's what most people doing out here. That's what most of our, most of our youth doing. They just following the leader in an endless loop. Find you a glitch and get up out this system, man. It's, life has more to offer, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's a 1% to 99%. The 99% is fucked up because they don't know the information the 1% knows. Just get you a little knowledge, man. And get up out that loop. Montreality Show. Gray hair fade, all my shit. All my hair, cause when I start losing my hair, I'm bad in the headline. I'm bad in my hair. I'm never really going bald. At 86, even when I go bald, I'ma still have my shit right. Facial hair all lined up crispy. You know, play up.